I try to be a student of the game. When I was a, a student here, I wanted to really learn about the different students I was interacting with. I had friends that were in the medical school. I had friends that were in law school. I had friends uh, in the business school. <coughs> and one of the things I um, uh, came to understand in learning about the history of Silicon Valley is that the valley is built on a set of successive waves. And one of the waves was the PC wave. So one of my core messages for the group, we'll probably get to it a little bit later, um, is if you did nothing, I know most of you are here for master's programs. There might be some undergraduates in the audience also. As you're thinking about what you want to do when you leave this room, the number one thing I would advise you that would be smart to do is to figure out how to find a long wave, some immutable trend that is going to permeate most of the tenure of your career, the next 15 to 30 years. If you sat down and said, what are the big long waves that are going to happen during my lifetime? Jumping on one of them as a professional will probably be one of the smartest moves you ever do. Because if you did nothing but jump into the computer business in the late 70s, early 80s, even maybe all the way up to the Microsoft IPO, you had a phenomenal run. A phenomenal run. 20-something years, maybe 25 years where you had a very high chance, much higher chance than the average person of achieving a higher position, perhaps more material uh, income, and just being in a, a, a better place than if you'd chosen, for example, Detroit. And so I think, you know, you've got to think about what wave you're on and how do you get on the wave that makes sense for you, both from an interest perspective, a geography perspective, what you want to do with your life. I decided that this was going to be a very long wave. This would probably be the most impactful wave. You can imagine what the other ones are. It's easiest to see them right here on campus because if you go read the last, I read it uh, just this last week, the last statement that comes out from uh, Dean Plummer from the School of Engineering, he tells you what the school's focused on. The school is focused in three big areas. Information technology, which it has been for a long time, that's kind of the, the most mature of the three areas it's really pursuing. Bioengineering and moving biology to a quantitative science and energy in the environment. Those are the three thrusts inside the School of Engineering right now. Guess what? Five to ten years from now, those are the students and professors and technologies that spin out and do startups. Why is the school oriented there? Because those are where the big challenges are. That's where they can recruit faculty to. That's where they can find research grants from. And so what you're seeing, research universities are the start of the waves, right? So you're here at ground zero on it. You just have to look around and see what they are and understand what research is going on on campus. So I don't know whether, you know, clean text the, the one for you, but I would tell you the number one thing you can do is figure out what wave are you riding and make sure you're not on a wave that's going down. 